Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. David Hoppe, and I am here with my colleague, Dr. Brittany Hott, and we are excited to be here to discuss our OSEP grant, Project Spiders, which will kick off this fall of 2022. So like I said, I am David Hoppe. I'm from the University of North Florida. Um, my colleague, Pam Williamson, um, couldn't be with us today, but she is also a critical part of this grant. And then Brittany will wave at you now, and, and she'll be talking in a little bit. And then our third um, university that is part of this is the University of Louisville, um, and that's um, Dr. Ginevra Cortade. And I should mention that Brittany is from the University of Oklahoma. So I'm going to discuss up front here a little bit about what the critical parts of the grant are that was funded. Um, Project SPIDERS comes from this acronym, School University Partnerships Influencing Advocacy and in Engaging Rural Special Educators. And we have a conceptual framework that's on the next slide that highlights what the project goals are, some of the training that will come through the program, as well as some outcomes. So I'm going to briefly talk about this for a few minutes. Um, our goal is to equip special education leaders to effectively address the needs of students who live in rural underserved settings. Um, we recognize in the research that there's not a lot of support often for special education leadership, particularly targeted for rural settings across this nation. So a lot of the money that comes out of OSEP and the Department of Education focuses on urban settings. So we're really excited that this grant is particularly targeted to people who are working and living in these rural settings across the country, particularly focused on Oklahoma, Kentucky, and Florida. Um, the training that is involved in this grant is threefold. It focuses on research, policy, and practice. So in the area of research, it will align a lot with a lot of other doctoral programs. We're, we will focus on applied research um, sorry, I'm drawing a blank, applied research um, that can be implemented across the rural settings and be used to translate research to practice for practicing special educators and general educators as they address the needs of students in the high need rural settings. A big part of that is evaluation of research. So our scholars will be working in the high needs rural settings during the grant and will be developing problems of practice that they would study to help the rural districts and schools that they work with. In conjunction with this is a big part of the grant is to focus on special education policy. As you know, education policy is on the front page of almost every newspaper every day currently. So what one goal of the project is to be an advocate for special education and special education in rural settings, but also to focus on how do you work with your constituents? How do you influence school board, state policy, federal policy around issues that are of interest to the rural um, districts that you work in. Part of this would be working in partnership with us at the universities to help frame these policy discussions and attend policy events. So we're really excited about this part being explicitly part of the program as our scholars would engage in policy discussions across the nation. And the last part, which relates directly to policy and research is practice. We recognize that translating research to practice and using practice-based research to influence research methods is really critical in the area of special education. We need to listen to our special education teacher leaders and leaders to see how professional development is working. How do they implement evidence-based practices, for example? How do they use data to inform their instruction? So part of the program will capture and help our leaders wrestle with this dilemma of professional development coupled with evidence-based practices, high leverage practices, data-based instruction to influence curriculum and implementation across the districts. Um, a big part of this will be working in the school university partnerships um, across Oklahoma, Louisville, and North Florida to help leverage our expertise to help influence the policy across um, your settings. So that will happen in two um, 
explicit ways. One is applied projects. So in your coursework, you'll be working on applied projects that relate directly to what's going on in your school settings, as well as work-based internships, which would allow you to have experience in the rural settings and le in leadership roles to address both research policy and practice. Um, these will be very fluid. They will ideally be worked out with your district um, administrators, your school-based administrators, as well as us to see how we can pull off these applied projects and work-based internships. And at the end of all this, our goal really is to improve the knowledge, skills, and dispositions of special education leaders to collectively improve outcomes for special education students, students with disabilities, um, in particular in, in rural schools. So we're really excited that um, we received this grant and we're really hopeful that some of you will apply to become a spider scholar. So in order to um, offset the costs of doctoral study, our um, grant through the generous support of the US Department of Education, Office of Special Education Programs, provides tuition and fees for four years of part-time study, a $15,000 annual stipend, that's $5,000 per semester, and that's to offset costs of travel, parking, um, books, any of those materials that come up, uh, childcare if you need it, um, basically to, to help with those extra living expenses that allow you to really focus on your doctoral studies. $7,000 in research support for pilot study or pilot studies and your dissertation work. There's yearly conference support. You'll receive mentorship from national experts in rural special education who focus on applied research, policy, and professional development. You will have numerous internship opportunities that uh, Dr. Hoppe mentioned. Um, and you'll have the opportunity to receive quality training in applied rural research, professional development and coaching, and policy implementation and dissemination. There is a service obligation. And what this is, is for every year of funding, you will owe service back to the field of special education. And so um, for every, every year, you um, owe an additional two years back to the field. And 51% of that uh, time could, needs to be with infants, toddlers, and children um, providing special education services, kids with disabilities. If you're in a leadership position, such as a principal teaching higher education, you're in research policy, technical assistance, program development, administration, kind of a big umbrella here, at least 51% of your time has to be related to the training that you receive during your scholarship, meaning you're serving kids with disabilities, you're serving students and individuals with disabilities. Um, and so before we move forward with your, um, with your program, you are required to sign a service obligation and to log into a system where you'll record your time. And so this kind of brings us to our faculty. Um, the faculty at the University of Oklahoma um, are here. There's expertise in ABA, um, students with extensive support needs, students with learning and behavioral disorders, transition. Um, we have a strong focus on school university partnerships and funding the research um, that comes out of those partnerships. And so our faculty are listed here. If you are interested in attending OU, as part of this program, you can attend any of the three universities. If you're in Oklahoma, close to Oklahoma, always wanted to live and serve in rural Oklahoma, you can apply to our PhD program anytime before February 1st. Details are available here on our website and um, a direct link to apply is right at the bottom of the slide. So I'm going to talk about the University of Louisville briefly since Dr. Cortade couldn't be here. These are the faculty um, at the University of Louisville. They have a range of expertise, like Dr. Hott said, um, 
from students with extensive support needs to differentiated instruction to um, MTSS and RTI and behavior supports and various wonderful different things. These are wonderful people. I know every one of them, as does Dr. Hot, and you would be really lucky to work and attend the University of Louisville. Their um, application site is on the next slide. And um, their application deadline is March 1st, so it's a little bit later than ours uh, or uh, OU's um, application deadline. Um, and we encourage you to reach out to Dr. Cortade if you had any particular questions about the University of Louisville's program. Um, here are our special education faculty here at the University of North Florida. Um, we have a range of expertise from Dr. Pam Williamson, who understands literacy, working with students with autism, as well as school university partnerships, to um, Dr. Natalie Badgett, who's a new professor to us that we're excited to have with her expertise in ABA. I focus on school university partnerships and teacher preparation, as does um, Dr. Shaquana Freeman Green. So we're really blessed to have a wonderfully um, well rounded faculty here at UNF. Our application um, web page is here. Um, feel free to go there um, and learn more about what you have to do to apply. Um, for all the programs, one thing we should say is you first must apply to the university of your choice, be accepted there, and then you would apply to Project Spiders for the fellowship. So here is a sample course of study. Um, doctoral programs are individualized. Um, you'll have a set of core classes for your program, and then you may have some electives. For Project Spiders, there will be five courses that are co-taught across the universities that focus on rural policy, rural research, and rural um, professional development and coaching. And so we're, we're leveraging the expertise of the faculty across all three universities to provide the best experience and to develop a network of rural doctoral leaders who can serve in special education capacities. If you would like additional information on any of the programs or the project as a whole, um, please feel free to reach out to any of us via email. Um, you can reach Dr. Geneva Cortade at the University of Louisville. You can, of course, reach Dr. Hoppy at the University of North Florida. Um, I'm here at the University of Oklahoma. My email is right there. And of course, Dr. Pam Pamela Williamson is also available at the University of North Florida. Thank you so much for, for watching our informational session. Please check out our handout that has lots of facts about the program. And we look forward to reviewing your application. Thank you. Bye, everybody.